Are you kidding me? No. That was me getting absolutely destroyed. Why? Normally it would take years to become a master of PvP, but can an average guy like me become a pro in only a week? There's no specific guideline for mastering PvP, so I thought the best method for improving was just to try again. And again. And again. Okay, that's just embarrassing. It was obvious I was going nowhere, so on day one, I developed a three-part plan to master PvP. Okay, that should be the entire list. These are the three goals I need to accomplish. If I didn't complete even one of them, I would fail. It wasn't going to be easy, but I had a plan. You see, we needed to find out my weaknesses. Luckily for me, if we look back through my footage, we can analyze the video to see the mistakes I made. Hmm, my goodness, I can see so many mistakes already. Using this, I made a secret three-part strategy, and on day two, I went to work. Okay, that should be it. My biggest problem was not using my inventory efficiently, which is why I built this hotkey trainer. Oh, I forgot the finishing touches. For those of you who don't know, hotkeys are keys linked up to spots in your inventory. They're important because it's the most effective way to use our inventory. If we don't learn the skill, we won't finish the three goals. The only way to quickly use hotkeys, though, is to develop muscle memory through lots and lots of practice. This is the most intense training exercise. This alone won't make me succeed though, so each day I will be working on improving my CPS and then using my training to win Skywars. And with day two coming to a close, I felt confident that my plan was going to make this challenge a breeze. Are you kidding me? Wait, no! Day 3 was not going good. At least nothing else bad happened. Right? And after humiliating myself, I stopped training for the day. Today wasn't great, but tomorrow's a do-over. It's a clean slate. I am confident that we will improve tomorrow. Seriously? We need to focus on one of the three goals today, and I think the easiest one to focus on is comboing consistently. Dude, this guy's crazy with it. He must be a professional. Or not. If I combo five people today, I will succeed, and I will be able to mark off that goal. Okay, it's the last guy, and I'm out. Wait, no. With the goal now in place, I started hunting down players. Okay, let's get set. had died. So I went into a new game where I died again and again and again. Nope, I'm done. That's it. And the same thing happened on day five. Today's just a repeat of the last five days. I couldn't kill anyone, nonetheless combo them. And with nothing going right, I stopped my training for the day. Today, I think I might be done with this challenge. I'm not quitting because I keep losing over and over. It's the fact that I haven't made any progress over five days. I haven't completed any of my goals, so I think this just might be it. I had failed the challenge, so I just went to scroll through YouTube. And when all hope seemed lost... Okay, I found this video. This is my last hope. If this doesn't help with anything, then the challenge is over. Jump resetting. Jumping as soon as you hit the ground disables all of your KBE and makes it... My goodness, how did I forget about that? You know that when you hit someone, they take knockback away from you, but they also take knockback above you, which means if you take no knockback by jump resetting and they take knockback, you can get below them, and since they're too far above the ground to hit you, you can get crazy combos on them. So to practice jump resetting, I went onto the sweatiest Minecraft server to train. Let's get to work. Okay, we just have to keep trying. I think I'm ready. It was time for me to go back to Skywars. Okay, this is it. Not only have I practiced jump resetting, I've also practiced block clutching. It's time for me to mark off one of those goals. I'm honestly a little nervous about this. This game will definitely be interesting though. Come on, jump reset. My goodness, we're dead already? Yes! Let's go! I can't believe it! Okay, we can't throw now, we can't throw now. Come on! 
Let's go! I did it. My first clutch in the entire challenge. And this sparked a chain reaction. Let's go. Finally. So yesterday I completed my goal of killing people consistently and I have made good progress on the other two It's finally time to finish this challenge. Okay. All we have to do is get one combo and two wins and that's it All right, we're done with the combos. Let's go Nice Let's go Okay, one more Let's go, just one more win. Dude, we're finally going to be a master of PvP, let's go! It was at this moment that something dawned upon me. I knew, deep down inside, that no matter what I did, no matter how many goals I achieved, I could never become a true master of PvP. There are simply too many categories of PvP to become a master of all of them. But maybe it was never about becoming the best. Maybe all along, it was about the journey we made. That even though we had trials and downfalls, we eventually made it to the other side and have benefited from this challenge greatly. And now, with one final kill, I can officially call this challenge complete. <laughs> I'm done. That's it. That was so cool. Some people may say I've completed one of the toughest challenges, and some people may say that you need to subscribe, but at the very least, this challenge has taught me how to never get wrecked again. Wait, no!